Hi everyone. Well, it's spooky season and I decided that I would show some of my favorite polishes for this time of year. I'm a seasonal nail polish wearer, but I don't normally do seasonal nail polish racks because um, I don't have a huge amount of polishes in my collection, nor do I buy lots of polish every season so my nail polish collection doesn't change a whole lot from year to year so if i were to do seasonal nail polish racks every year you'd be seeing some of the same polishes over and over again for several years so what i decided to do is um i would do a nail polish collection that fits a certain aesthetic for each season um, so that way it would be a smaller number of polishes and then I could do a different aesthetic the next season. So um, for Halloween, I decided to go with my inner goth, which I am not really a goth, but um, I always think of dark, vampy, black based polishes for Halloween. So I'm going to show you my top five favorites that fit to that goth category for Halloween and the ones that I'll be wearing this month. And I hope you enjoy what you see. The first polish I'm gonna show you is from China Glaze. And this is a classic iconic shade called Lubu Heels. It is a sheer black base or like a black jelly base full of red, micro glitter or shimmer i'm not sure what you want to call it and it is just this really gorgeous shade black to red as you can see on the swatch nail i think this is a perfect kind of goth halloween shade and i really enjoy wearing it uh you can get it opaque on its own probably in about three coats but what i like to do is put down a layer of a black cream and then put this over the top in one to two coats. And then it looks just really great. So Lubu Heels is my first favorite goth shade for Halloween. My second shade that I'm gonna show, my second polish, is one that is so popular, has been so popular, and it is Eclipse from ILNP, which of course is a black to red multi-chrome polish with other colors in between but i think that black to red is what really gets me and um i'm not a person that normally buys polish online the first time i see it but when i first saw an ad for this polish on youtube i was literally like okay what is this sorcery i have to have this so i bought it as soon as i could so this is one of the original it does not have the scattered holographic glitter in it that some of their other options did but i like it just the way it is um, of course island p can be sheer uh, but this can get opaque in two to three coats for me and i cannot wait to get this on my nails this year for halloween and beyond the next polish is actually what I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is from Chaotic Glitz, and this is called Fall Halloween Festival. I don't know if you can read the label there. I picked this up at the indie shop in 2018 or 2019. Um, it had been from the year before. It was in a clearance bin, a discount bin, and I really just loved the look of it and loved the vibe of it. It's a black jelly base and it's full of all these flakies. Can you see purple, blue, orange, gold? It to me is like, reminds me of a bonfire at midnight with sparks that go flying out of the fire into the dark and just how that would look. I just think it's super gorgeous. Like I said, it's what I have on my nails right now. Excuse my index finger if we had a little bit of an incident earlier, but I again layer it over a black cream and the Polish the the flakies. I just think they look really awesome and great fall Manicure especially for Halloween uh, If I was in the UK, I probably would also want to put this on for bonfire night as well but uh, this is just another really great uh, polish for Halloween and just love that look the next one is a little bit newer to my collection this one from is from wet n wild megalast and it is uh, a shame that they don't make 
this polish anymore. They don't make Wet n Wild Mega Last. I don't know if they make any nail polishes anymore uh, because they had such a great formula and they had a great brush too. Uh, but this one is called Under Your Spell. Let's see if I can find the, there it is, Under Your Spell. And it is, oops, there went the swatch nail. It is a blackened or a dark gray, maybe, jelly base um, that's full of that deep kind of oxblood red shimmer. Uh, this, again, looks really good layered over a black cream. I haven't tried it over a dark red cream. I kind of want to do that. Uh, you can see on the swatch nail, which keeps trying to fall off, uh, it almost gives it like a bronzy brown look on, on the nail, but that's because I didn't layer it over anything on the swatch nail. I just put it down by itself. But when you put it over a black, it looks really cool. And uh, like I said, I need to try it over a dark red and see what that does as well. But again, just another really gorgeous kind of blood red shade for Halloween. And then my final one that I want to show you is my favorite of all these colors and probably the first one I got that fits in with this aesthetic. And this is from Revlon. And this shade is called Elusive. I think I picked this up on clearance at Big Lots uh, liquidation store uh, years ago. This is just, to me, this is Halloween in a bottle. It is a black jelly base full of these teal green glitter, small glitter, and then larger hex glitter. So different sizes and shapes of this teal green glitter. It's just phenomenal. It's, like I said, a jelly base. It does dry down matte, so I do like to put on a uh, glitter eating glossy top coat over it because I really don't like how it looks matte. But this, layer it over a black cream, and this, like I said, is Halloween in a bottle. This is my definition of a Halloween polish. Um, so as you can see, the fill line is pretty far down. I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this because you can't get it anymore. But I really do love this polish. And uh, yeah, it's my favorite one for Halloween. I just love that gothy witchy look that it gives. So yeah, these are my top five Halloween goth aesthetic polishes that I do plan to wear this year. And I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.